In this video you will learn how to do a 5-minute keyword research for your Amazon product listing using Seller.Tools software. This method will save you time and it will be explained by the Seller.Tools co-founder Troy Johnston. If you want to try for yourself Seller.Tools, you'll find the link and the offer below this video. And as always, if you like what we do, click the like button below the video and subscribe to our channel. Hey, Troy here from Seller.Tools. If you haven't heard or seen us before, we specialize on getting your products on page one on Amazon, getting you more Amazon reviews, and optimization automation strategies of the best on Amazon. I'm excited to join you in this video because we're going to be talking about five-minute keyword research. How do we safeguard our valuable time, but do keyword research better than just about anybody else on Amazon? I've literally spotted the underwhelming ways that we've seen people approach keyword research and how we can elevate that through the simple workflow I'm going to be walking us through. So let's dive into it together. I'm here in my Tools account and where we're going to go in the navigation is through competition research. We're going to go to our R2A tool, Real Reverse ASIN, hence the name R2A. And what this tool allows us to do is use the proven approach of Reverse ASIN and tie in some of the best data to make sure that we get both relevancy uh, from our keyword research and volume. How do we know what keywords to prioritize uh, when we are optimizing our listing and looking at our PPC efforts? Now, we can simply add in ASINs here into our R2A tool to run a reverse ASIN, but I'm going to walk you through the select products workflow to easily capture the most relevant ASINs when you're conducting this search. So if we click on select products. What we're going to do here is add in our main or master keyword. This is the most succinct way to describe your product. So for a garlic press, it's garlic press. For argan oil, it's argan oil. I'm going to use a product I used to sell in the form of a hyaluronic acid serum and add in what is the main or master keyword for that product. I'm going to get the results then on Amazon of the top highest ranking products for my main or master keyword. This is telling me who's winning for the most important keyword to me as a brand owner. So what I'm going to do is take the top four ranked ASINs and I'm going to add those to my reverse ASIN search. What I've done, I've already checked off the relevancy box. Who's winning for what I need to be winning for as a brand owner for my most important keyword. Then I'm going to run that search through R2A and let it find for me all the keywords that those products, those direct competitors who are winning on Amazon, that they are ranking for. And from here, we can then analyze these four ASINs, our target ASINs now, and we can see the main images of each one of these and the results we have from running this R2A search. We can see a total number of 2,800 keywords that we have captured in just a few moments time. But now that we've checked off the relevancy box, we need to start thinking about priority. How do we know where the volume, the intent, the strength of the keywords to, to let us know, again, how we can properly optimize our Amazon presence. What I'm going to highlight for you is probably the most important filter when you're running your own R2A, and that is rank density. As you can see in the hover state here, what this highlights is the number of target ASINs ranking for a keyword. And the way that I'm going to share how you should approach this with your five-minute keyword research is running through the same select products flow but then focusing on a majority. So in this case, we have four ASINs, a majority, three or more, ranking for any one keyword. And all we need to do here is come into rank density and add that three as a minimum value. So that's, again, telling me three out of the four are ranking for the keywords as a result of running that reverse ASIN search. I'm going to apply that filter. And you'll notice how our filtered keywords, it went down about a 10th of the number of results. So again, what is this telling us? A majority of highly relevant ASINs are ranking for this very select group of highly relevant keywords. Now, on the other side, when it comes to priority, the big piece of the equation that we need is the most powerful data there is at the keyword level. And that's Amazon's brand analytics. If you're not using this, you're sort of without the best data. That's a big, big compromise when it comes to doing expert level keyword research. So what we'll do is we'll scroll down and look at these filtered keywords 
and see this really powerful column that you're going to probably find to be your most, your, your, your best friend when it comes to doing keyword research. And that is search frequency rank. This is brand analytics data. And what this allows us to do, and as you may know, with search frequency rank, the lower the number, the higher that priority for that given keyword. It's very similar to BSR. And so what we're able to do with only adding in the rank density filter is scroll through this list of highly important keywords for us, 236 keywords, and look, it actually default sorts search frequency rank. You'll notice this number start to ascend and grow higher, but what it captures for us is really compelling specific keywords. It will capture misspellings. It will capture multi-language. It'll capture branded terms. There's absolutely nothing missing that we should have on our radar when we're looking at expert level keyword research in this super simple workflow. And we have a bunch of additional filters of different ways that you can look and view some of this data, whether you're focusing on lower competitors, lower competitor accounts. So there may be a, an opportunity to come into a space looking at word counts so you can prioritize longer tail keywords looking at and adding in your own product. So you can look at your keyword rank relative to the average or best keyword rank for any given keyword. But what's most important, the key takeaway here is if the foundation for you is a five minute keyword research flow that takes you ahead, completely removes you from the pack and sort of uh, gets away from some of the keyword research methods of the masses. If this gives you the edge, you can then use some of the filters to dive into more specific data that may be beneficial for you based on some of your objectives. So to quickly recap, the way that you can use our two-way to conduct and complete five-minute keyword research is using the select products workflow, adding in the ASINs that you found, running your search, and then using rank density as a majority. So looking for a majority. So that in that case, if it's uh, six uh, ASINs that you're running, you want at least four of them. Uh, four would be your filter for rank density and letting the power of the best data prioritize those relevant keywords. You can then from here, add these keywords to your products right here in Tools. You can export some of this data. You can completely customize it as you would like. But handing off five-minute keyword research for you and showing you how to complete this is going to give you an advantage. So I'm excited to hand this off to you. Run it, find any keywords you're missing, not utilizing if you haven't I've been using the best data, but with brain analytics, you have the priority, the power of the relevancy that reverse ASIN gives you to really elevate your keyword research. So make sure you get access, click the link below. You can tap into R2A completely for free. As you start to grow, build your business, we grow with you at Seller.Tools. So you have a plan level that's right there that matches your needs and lets you use expert level keyword research in just five minutes time. I hope this seller.tools uh, tutorial was useful for you and if you want to sign up for seller.tools you'll find the link below as well as a special offer a coupon code which will give you a discount while, when, while signing up for their lifetime deal and actually here you can watch a video where we do a, a full length uh, walkthrough through seller.tool features.